Hey there, rock stars. Sarah Rock and Robbins here, author of the best selling book, Rock Your Network Marketing Business, and creator of the CD series, The Rockstar Recruiting School, and my new series, The Rockstar Recruiting School Masterclass. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about objections. Now, when you get objections, don't be frightened and don't be put off. You know, no doesn't always mean no. It can mean no, not now, or it could be, I don't know enough. Tell me a little bit more. You know, objections are common. And remember, you know, just like if you were to line up a bunch of people in a room and say, hey, do you want to be a kindergarten teacher tomorrow? That's my former profession. I used to begin a kindergarten teacher. I'm not going to be offended if people say no or they don't understand why I love it so much. Remember, this business is not for everybody. You got to be okay with that. So we can't, you know, run away from rejection. We have to continue to go through and work through our own set of odds. Now, when I face objections, Many people in the industry use what we call the feel, felt, found method. So I don't know where it first originated from, but I love it. And if you know, let me know because I'll give credit where credit is due. But many people in the industry use the feel, felt, found. I understand how you feel. I felt the same way when I started, but here's what I found out. It's a great way to answer objections when you get them. And here's why. If you immediately get on the defense, oh no, 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 it's not that, or oh, it's not this at all, then it creates a defensive conversation. You wanna make people feel validated, understood, because then you can continue on with a more comfortable conversation. So today's objection is, I don't have the time to do the business. So I might say something like, I totally understand how you feel. I felt the same way when I got started because I actually started my business very part-time alongside of a full-time teaching job. And I was a brand new teacher. But here's what I found out. Most people work this business in the nooks and crannies of their life. See, that's the beauty of network marketing. You design a professional life that fits around the rest of your life. Most people start really part-time alongside of all of their full-time commitments in life. What other questions do you have? You know, it's really about showing them that the business can fit in to what they're already doing. I talked to a prospect the other day who was like, you don't understand, I've got like 90 hour a week jobs. I said, do you have a lunch hour? She said, sure. And you know, a lot of times you can answer objections with stories. I told her when I was a kindergarten teacher, I literally used to eat my lunch in the car and make my phone calls, even if it was just one or two a day to keep leads coming my way. So validate them, feel felt found, and share a lot of stories, and you too can rock your network marketing business. I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments over on my blog at sarahrobbins.com. Rock on, rock stars.